Hey everybody, in order to celebrate the release of my new album and the fundraiser, uh, the album is called 55, I thought I'd take you backstage behind the scenes in the recording studio here I have at home. I'm doing some of the record here at home and some up in Woodstock, New York. And uh, the stuff that I've done here has been a lot of fun and I can take my time with it. I wanna show you how I developed the string parts for the song Holy and take you into the recording box and show you how I stack strings upon strings upon strings in the huge break that happens in the middle of that song. I hope you enjoy it. If you wanna to contribute to the fundraising project, just click on the link and uh, it'll take you right there. Thanks again, guys. Hey everybody, now we're backstage in Logic. That's the program where I do all my recording at home here. And these are the tracks for the song, Holy. You can see them here if you follow the cursor. And I'm gonna show you uh, what that break in the middle of the song is when the orchestration takes over. I'll move myself over here. The first thing I wanna play for you is what the violins are doing. All of these yellow bars are the violins and I get to choose them over here. That's where I get to choose all the instrumentation. Here's the initial violin part. So that's a part that I wrote for the violins and it feels very um, formally uh, classical in a way, but it has a lot of motion, a lot of start and stops. Now I'm gonna bring in the double basses and that's gonna provide a lot of low end movement against the violins. Here's what they sound like together. Well, you gotta get this over here. Check this out. So that provides a nice counterpoint to the high part of the violins. In the middle here comes the cellos. These are cellos, violins, and double bass together. Now the cello part created a bunch of uh, holes by starting and stopping and we have two more layers of instruments to bring in still. This is the uh, viola part. This is gonna fill in some of those holes left by the, that cello part. All right, and lastly, I have a violin solo at the very, very top of everything. And that's really the star of the show in this particular section. Here it is. I'll play it uh, just by itself first. That way you can hear what it's doing alone. Here it is. Now let's mix it in with everybody at the same time. These are just the strings. There's my orchestra. It's all in green and yellow there. Here it is.
Now this is my first time uh, putting this stuff together, so it was a real thrill to be able to have it come on out so nice. I'll put it in the context of the whole song now, just taking it from uh, the second verse on, and then you can hear it in context. The tone, the sound of the tone, holy to me, and if only I could take it to Dublin, I'd catch a boat across the sea. Cause Peggy Young is waiting for me She says don't risk your life on a train Here it comes But just watch me It's April 11th at the Queenstown Docks. There's a foghorn calling across the way. All right, that's the whole section, and I hope you guys enjoy that little backstage look into what I'm doing here at home. I'm going to try and record as many songs as I possibly can. I've got this hand condition that I'm going to be... Uh, taken out of the mix for for a few months in December, so I want to get as many things um, uh, recorded before I go into surgery for my my hand situation, and uh, so a lot of it's going to be done here, and a lot of it's going to be done in Woodstock, New York. And thank you for supporting the projects and everything that I do. Thank you guys for contributing to the album fundraiser. Cheers. Just watch me. Say